Hi, my name is Yek Siu Hao. People usually call me Siu Hao and I'm currently a Shell Scholar. I'm from Bintulu, Sarawak, where I grew up with my lovely family of four, including my dad who's an engineer, and my early inspiration I could say. I took SPM in SMK Bintulu, and I'm currently taking my second year of A-levels at College at San Yuyan. I started joining Shaun Explorers program when I was 14, and I've participated in it for about uh, three years. The journey started when my seniors are wearing their really cool t-shirts and presenting their interesting ideas for the Shaun Explorers school level. I'm really eager to participate in it. A few months later, my, my dream come true. I was part of this program and I would say that it's one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Throughout the Shaun Explorers program, I've came up with a lot of interesting ideas that I believe could help to solve with real world issues. Uh, during my first year in the program, uh, my team and I, we created a recycling app to encourage the users to use uh, recycling bags and in the second year my team and I we invented a smart dustbin to specifically to collect um, disposable face masks due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but the project that I remember the most is the one that we created in third year where we created a smart parking system and an app to help the drivers to find the parking seats easier and faster. Initially, our first idea wasn't creating this project, but one day when my mom and I were trying to find a parking seat in an indoor parking lot at my hometown, my mom started to complain like how hard it is to find a parking seat uh, today. And I was like, wait, this could be a really good idea. And I immediately sent a text message inside our, our team's group chat and my teammates said, yes, that's a really good idea and that's what their parents are facing as well. So we immediately changed our idea and we are really happy to work with an idea that's really close to us. My name is Siti Nazila Raihan Binti Otman. Currently, I'm teaching at SMK Aminuddin Baki, Kuala Lumpur and I has been 12 years in teaching service and for the STEM innovation it has been it has been eight years experience for me. Well, my school is the pioneer for the program. This program it is a very long journey so first for the teachers this will be upgrade your professional career okay because uh, we didn't get it in normal career path because this is the out, uh, outside program and me I would say that I was upgrade my me myself as a teacher far as I expected before this I do not know how to organize the STEM program but because of this program they give me a lot of great experience that I wouldn't get it uh, as a normal teacher. I'm a very lucky person because I got a very strong support from my colleagues and also my school administrator. So it will be easier for me to uh, go through uh, my journey in, as a mentor in Shell and Explorers. I would say that joining Shell and Explorers was a life-changing experience for me because before joining this, I wasn't as aware of the surroundings around me, what's happening around, but afterwards, I started to realise the small things and the issues that's happening around us. And with that, I can say that Shell and Explorers was the launchpad for me to try out the practical side of STEM. As for the challenges, I believe one of the biggest is making STEM education relevant and accessible. Sometimes, if STEM education is approached in an abstract way, the students will struggle to find a relation between both STEM education and their daily life. However, if it's approached in a hands-on manner, then the students can understand a little bit better about how they can actually apply these skills into their daily lives. And with that, the process is much more meaningful and powerful. Of course, the behaviour of the students would be the first challenge for me. Sometimes, when they feel hard in the journey, okay, because this programme, we have a, a long journey from the early of the year until end of the year. So when they feel hard, they tend to drop out from the programme. So what I do is, uh, I will call them, sit with them, and then uh, motivate them to continue the journey until their project has been completed. The experience of being a Shell Scholar has been wonderful and I'm really grateful for Shell Malaysia for providing this opportunity for me to be part of the Scholars last year. 
and beyond uh, financial support, Shao has also provided me this opportunity to meet uh, a lot of like-minded uh, minds and I'm able to learn a lot from them as well. And also it, it has helped me um, to achieve my dream of wanting to study abroad one day.